Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. Megan here with Heartwood Art, and today I'm going to show you how I cut full sheets of plywood on the floor safely using these. They're two by two foam insulation boards. They're rigid, but they're super light. They let me lay out any configuration, and they are so easy to store. But more than anything, they keep little old me safe. So let me show you how I use them. Hey, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and come on over to heartwoodart.com and see more tips and tutorials like this. Okay, let's dive in. I love these foam insulation boards. They're cheap, strong, and light, and they provide a solid surface, and it's easy for me to lay out as many as I need. Here I have eight laid out to support a full sheet of three-quarter inch plywood, and unlike full insulation sheets, they're so easy to store. I just stack them up on a top shelf or under my bench. Now, take a look at the board in the top right. I took about two inches off with a utility knife and placed the short side toward the outside on the end. I plan to cut off the end of the plywood in this area, and that's where I'll want to place a clamp for my circular saw straight edge too. Now let me show you how I create that same type of notch on the other side. I lean the plywood against the support poles in my garage workshop, and then I butt the edges of the foam boards against it. So when I lay it down, this makes it super simple to lay the plywood down onto the foam board. I just have to make sure I get my feet out of the way before I drop it. Now the edge of the plywood that was on the floor will naturally fall one to two inches from the edge of the foam board. And that gives me plenty of room to add a clamp for my straight edge on that side. And here's a shot of the notched edge that I cut on the other side. I use simple spring clamps to hold my straight edge. The foam board is only an inch thick, which is plenty for this type of clamp. You may have other clamp types that work well too, but all of mine were a little too tall. And here are both sides clamped. Now I'll be cutting on the inside so the clamps aren't in the way at all. And be sure to see the links above or below this video for how I made the straight edge for my circular saw. It's so easy and cheap too. Okay, let's see this thing in action. Be sure to wear proper ear and eye protection when using a circular saw. Now since the proper depth of a circular saw is only 1 8 inch deeper than the material you're cutting, there's no chance that the blade will go through the foam board and no risk that it will hit the floor. The foam board is so rigid that it easily holds my weight as I stop the saw and move across to ensure I'm positioned directly over the saw. And that rigidity is what makes cutting like this so safe. Since the full weight of the plywood is being supported, there's no chance it can bow downward along the cut. And that means there's no chance that the saw blade will get bound. So I know that I can cut safely without concern about the saw kicking out or worse, kicking back up toward me. That's way better than supporting the plywood with two by fours or such. If you lay them parallel to the cut, it's too easy for the plywood to bow and bind the saw. And if you lay them perpendicular, you end up having to sacrifice the support boards because now they have at least a 1 8 inch cut in them. Now it will take a whale of a lot of cuts before you have to retire a foam board and they're way cheaper to replace too. Okay, that's it. Be sure to subscribe to the Heartwood Art YouTube channel and come on over to the site for more helpful tips just like this. And I'll see you in the shop.